Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, wherever you're at, whatever time it is. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing some Bloodborne today. I know it kind of switches it up from my Fallout 4 videos, but I still want to do Bloodborne, so I'm going to make time for that as well. Sorry, my voice sounds kind of rough. I just woke up. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm really excited to get started with this, and hopefully um, we can fit in a couple episodes. I don't remember <clears throat> exactly what we were doing, but I can more than happily find out. Um, I know we went down to Old Yarnum in the last episode. Hello. It's funny, it doesn't even look like he started to attack yet. And I can parry him. Okay, so we got two blood vials, that's cool. Alright, we already got the hunter set from there. I know we went through the aqueducts and got every- Oh, we were going down there, I think. Do we go? Do we go? Yeah, we, okay, we got the monocle, so... Yeah, I guess we don't need to go down there anymore. Oh, we're saving it for this door. That's what we're doing. Okay, so we do need to go to Old Yarnum, if anything, just to get some souls. I mean, blood echoes. So let's go do that. Let's go to Old Yarnum and farm. Maybe we can farm our way to the boss and open the shortcut. So let's just warp. Um, yeah, let's just warp that way we don't have to encounter all those enemies guy with the gun. Well, I guess we already opened the coffin, so it's not like we'd have to go through a ton of people, but now that I think about it, we probably should have just walked it. <laughs> probably would have been easier. Okay, hello, doll. Um, okay, so let's go to Old Yarnum. And I think we've already pissed Urge off. <laughs> I think we've already pissed him off. So I don't think there's any hope of uh, doing it the other way. I just thought about it because I thought, you know, we could do it the other way this time. But I think I've already pissed him off. <laughs> because I think well, in the last episode we we um, we fought Gascoigne and then we came here and it automatically, our bell was still ringing. So it picked somebody up. Alright. So let's just make our way through uh, Old Yarnum. Um, did we get the crystal lizard down here? We did, okay. And I think, yep, we got the hunter's torch. So we've already got everything down there. Alright, now killing him. That was kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna get back into this. I'm playing Fallout. And it's weird. Okay, this all cleaver is what we're using right now plus two. But it says our Kirk Gamer is doing more, but I don't believe it. Let's try and see. No, that is definitely not more. If anything, I, I just want to wanna use that. And I'm sorry, I don't know why my system is making such a loud noise. And it messes up my commentary and it makes me so mad. I don't know why it's so loud. I told you, the mic picks up everything. So I'm sorry guys if it sounds like a jet plane's taken off. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy over here. Fast. Alright, I think if we just level up the saw cleaver, that'll be good for us. I think I'll, I would be happy with that for now. And I know we'll get some bloodstone shards in this area. I thought that was one of those things we could knock off. Oh, but I killed you along with your friend. I like having the reach. <laughs> Two bloodstone shards. Okay, so I think that actually gives us enough because I think we already had one. And it takes three. So whenever we leave here, 
If we can just get the shortcut, I'll be happy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run. Okay, we got another shard. Just we don't want to get uh, frenzied. I actually hear the guys up top. Oh, is this where we died? No, that's just a specter. Yeah, but, um, we'll go back up there and collect all the items and stuff once We've killed him. Three antidotes. At least once we get the shortcut. Uh, just me. I keep hitting and I don't win. <laughs> Usually I win. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's kill the bird dogs. collect our two bloodstone shards. We're racking those up and the um the wolves drop a lot of those. So that's that's gonna be good. That's good. I can kill these guys quickly. More hits. And we have the big yeah big guy that comes out over there. You know what I guess we could probably ring our bell. Um did I not equip it? To equip our bell and just see. Oh, I need to change my password. Now. Okay. now let's ring our bell and just see if we happen to get anybody along the way. Because if we can go ahead and get somebody, I mean, I'll I'll suicide for the bloodstar beast. But if not, I just want to get the shortcut. Give me another antidote, and we're just gonna do 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 do. Excuse me, pardon me. Thank you. And these guys are actually gonna climb up, so we gotta make sure we knock them off. Come on up, guys. Yeah, I'm climbing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you can do it. Oh! I wasn't even climbing up a ladder. <laughs> he wasn't even climbing up a ladder. He was just climbing up the side of the building. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, so we're gonna drop down. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. There's a lot of goodies out here to get. Um, I don't care about getting the the messenger, the bloody uh, head bandage, but I will get what we can. I think there's some Molotovs over there, so we gotta be really careful when we walk on this, because I've had this issue since Dark Souls 1, when you're in Orlando, about walking on the rafters. Okay, we got Mad Men's Knowledge. I just, no matter what I do, if I, if I if I try to run fast, I'm gonna fall. As simple as it is to just stay on the rafters. Okay, um, there's the messenger head bandage, but I think if we just land right below it, we'll get the Molotovs. So let's just, um, I don't care about getting the head bandage. So we're just gonna drop right here. There we go. There's nothing else over there. We're just gonna... Oh, we almost made the head bandage anyway. <laughs> now dropping down is gonna be fun. Okay, we need to get the. Let's see. We need, we're gonna be going that way. But I want to grab the two mold. Right there's where we're gonna drop. Are we ready to go? Oh. Grab him. Oh, we're chill, bud. 
Now we can just get us there. We can bottleneck them. Oh. Tempered blood gemstone. Awesome. We could probably go and equip that. Oh, the bird dogs made their way to me. Okay. Hello, bird dog. Don't peck me. <laughs> Look at them flopping their way over here. Excuse me. Thank you. two more bloodstone shards so we actually sh should probably be able to bring this up twice and then the next time we'll need uh the twin bloodstone shards which i don't think we can get right now until we get to uh who was it your heart ghoul really six blood vials awesome that just pretty much gave us back what we used so let's come up here and get the shortcut these ladders are the longest in history because this will actually bring us, this should bring us right where the ladder was. There we go. Alright, so we, we found our first shortcut. Now we're halfway to being able to get the um, Hunter Chief Emblem. So if we can get a few more Blood Echoes, then maybe we'll be able to get it. Because I think we have a breakable. Two breakables. All right, awesome. So we only we you know we only need ten thousand to get there, so we're halfway. Uh, I know there's a crystal lizard over here, and I'm gonna rush him because if not, he's gonna run away or flop away or whatever he does. Wolf like never comes up there. That's why it scared me. <laughs> Whoa, puppy. And they give good loot. <laughs> like when they die, it's either bloodstone shards, blood vials, something of that nature. So let's get our drop from our crystal lizard. Three bloodstone shards. This place is like Candyland. <laughs> and there's one more wolf over there. Hello, Wolfie. Yeah, I think this weapon will work good once we level it up a couple more times. What nice legs you have. What big teeth you have, Grandma? Two punch and blood cocktails. And that's the way when we come from your heart goal. And we'll just get that drop down there whenever. 
we, I think it's a soul. I mean, a cold blood. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get it just because that could help us get to our um, goal of getting 10,000 sooner. Alright. Nah, bloodstone shard. Okay, well, that's cool. Any, either way. I couldn't remember if it was bloodstone shard or if it was cold blood. Alright. This looks so cool. Alright, and there's this one that's gonna drop down over here. Trying to be sneaky, I saw that. Can't be sneaky, I see everything. You know why? Because I still have my eyes. Unlike everybody else. <laughs> Okay, one bloodstone shard. So we're actually up to 23 bloodstone shards. So that's awesome. He's gonna jump out. Oh, a quick second attack. Just for that. Another one. One antidote, we'll need that for the boss fight. I'm actually really surprised we haven't gotten baited yet. Two more bloodstone shards. We're gonna have like 30 before we're out of here. I mean, I'm not complaining, but. <laughs> Alright, now we have, oh, and we have our 10,000 souls, our blood echoes, let's, let's leave and go get the hundred chief emblem, that works out perfectly because we got that shortcut, and that was what I was wanting us to do, so now whenever we're ready to come back here to old Yarnum, we can drop down this, uh, well, we don't have to drop down the ladder, um, we can drop down off the roof and go straight to find, fight the Bloodstar Beast, so that works out perfectly, we've already got that. Wonderful, that worked out great. Now we can warp back by the Hunter Chief Emblem and go into Cathedral World. A Cathedral Ward. At least go a little bit deeper into Cathedral Ward. And we won't we won't fight Vicar Amelia in this episode, but we'll probably attempt to fight her in the next episode. I don't know, I might want to fight the Bloodstar Beast first. That way we can do the whole side, you know, go into the uh, workshop and do all that fun stuff first. So, oh, and I love how it gives you back your inside now. Like, for instance, if you use your bell and you and it used it inside and then you died, you lost your insight. But now it gives it back, which I think is really cool. Or like if you ring it and, you know, it never picks up anybody or whatever, and you warp, you, it gives it back. Okay, so let's go beat up on Garen a little bit. Uh. And let's see if we can fortify. Let's see if that blood gym was any better than when we... Nope. Um, but we can go ahead and uh, fortify, and that'll give us another slot. Oh, now we need to win. Okay, now we need to. So let's go ahead and actually, I guess we can level up our Kirk Hammer. Because we don't need the Bloodstone Shards for anything else, just in case we want to switch it up. And let's level up our Blunderbuss. Once. Now we should be able to add that to the Blood Gem. Yes, awesome. So now we're at plus 15 scaling. And that Kirk Hammer, you know, let me take that off and see if it... Oh, it does better. So let's let's do that, and then we'll give the Kirk Hammer the tempering. That works for me because this is the weapon we're going to be using. Ah, oh, our our blood echoes. Why didn't I do that first? Now we're going to have to go farm a few more. No, we can sell. I keep forgetting we can sell these little greedy bastards over here. Um. Ah. 
I, mean, I want to sell something we can buy back. So let's just sell these blood pellets. Works for me. Now let's buy the emblem. Hunter Chief emblem. 10,000 blood echoes. Boom. Awesome, guys. Well, I think we got a lot accomplished. We got that shortcut in Old Yarnum, so now we're ready to go fight the Bloodstar Beast. We bought the Hunter Chief emblem, so now in the next episode we can venture deeper into Cathedral Ward and maybe even fight Vicar Amelia. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bloodborne. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like. That helps me know that you enjoyed my content. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.